Hello traders, this is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I'm so glad you could be here with me. And I just want to say every time I make a video, I think, oh, this will be the last video that I make for a while. But I want to talk to you because most of the videos that I've been making as of late have been about the one minute time frame. And not everybody's comfortable trading that. The videos I made before were based on larger time frames. So I'm going to go with the theme that I went with this afternoon. If you have a market where your 200 period is flat like this, your 50 period is flat, you can see how this 200 period will not act as an area of support or resistance. You just cannot rely on it. So you just have to swing when the market swings. Now, I want to show you a setup that you may be a little bit more comfortable trading. It's probably a little bit more secure of a setup so let me show it to you oh and I want to apologize this is the euro JPY on the one hour time frame so it doesn't just have to be the one minute time frame the reason I have a preference for the one minute time frame now is because it keeps my stop losses small and it shows me immediately if I'm wrong about the trade decision that I'm about to make now this is the same setup that I've been showing you on the one minute time frame as of late the moving averages are here together you have to cross you have price just creaming your moving averages your stop loss of course would go above this candle this would be your entry candle the top of your entry candle is 113.22 and it eventually stops at 109 21. Now this is the thing. This is the 15 minute time frame. So if you're looking for a time frame that you're not quite waiting forever, but look, you have to wait all of this price action out. If you're looking for a time frame that you're not quite having to wait forever, then perhaps the 15 minute is a happy medium between the hourly, the one minute, the daily. Maybe it's something that you're a little bit more comfortable with. So I just wanted to bring this whole video thing to you and I can show you the same price action on both the hourly and the one minute time frame now that was the 15 minute this is the one minute time frame and you can see what happens with your one minute time frame on the one minute time frame you get into that initial profit but you'll see that price breaks above that 200 period comes in out and gets into a little choppy period before it continues on so if you're more comfortable with that 15 minute time frame then you can do that and you can see how it just continues and then it's going to eventually drop again so that's where we are until it gets to 109 let's take a look at that on the one hour time frame okay guys this is that same price action on the, the hourly time frame the only difference is the amount of your stop loss that's why I have a preference now for the one minute time frame you can trade this on any time that you're comfortable with and you can see this is the 15 minute again I shrunk it you'll see on the 15 minute as well as on the hourly if you get a good signal on either one of those time frames you're going to have a really good run you're gonna have a good run with a whole lot less false signals the one minute time frame like I said in the initial video the one minute time frame is going to give you a lot of false signals and a lot of choppy price action so if you prefer waiting for this on a 15 minute time frame or the hourly time frame the only thing you risk is a larger stop loss that's it otherwise if it's a good trade you'll see that your stop loss is up here you'll see that the trade flows in harmon harmony beautifully without ever risking that stop loss there and you'll see that price does not go above this 200 period on the larger time frame so I just wanted to point that out so if that's more comfortable for you you can do that guys you can absolutely do this have a terrific trading week